Welcome to Breaking News. We'll holler the news. Is, uh, we have someone in the studio. This is an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. We have heard about the name Kachi. Kachi is a popular Nigerian gay porn star. Kachi has been reported on Kiru Talk on several occasions. One of the biggest stories on Kiru Talk was when Kachi was kittled in Bayasa and he was flogged. I and Mr. Harry reported that news here on the one-on-one -on -one segment. But today, Kachi is trending again, not just Kachi. Also, JP Crime Fighter, Oyas, is also on the news. To talk on this pressing matter remains my co-host, Mr. Kelechi, founder and co-founder of Kiru Talk. Mr. Kelechi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you very much, Inuizia. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And also to talk on this pressing matter is none other than Frank Franklin Nchinemeze. Welcome, Mr. Frank Nchinemeze. I'm okay. So thank you, viewers. If you haven't subscribed to Curie Talk, this is the best time for you to click that subscribe button. You know we give you the best in queer and African media. And this is Curie Talk 101 segment on Breaking News Wahala. <laughs> So, Mr. Franklin, give us this story. You have an issue with Kachi and JP Cry Fighter. Before I give you the space, you talked about Hilary Bangala. Hilary Samuel was accused of being a keto by Oya's JP crime fighter. You yourself has also been accused of being a keto by JP, JP crime fighter. And JP crime fighter till today calls me the king of ketos. So tell us, how did this all happen with JP crime fighter and Tachi? First of all, let's talk about uh, JP crime fighter. So actually, years ago, then I was working with CPHI, Center for Population Health Initiative, as a counselor tester. Then I have a colleague then in CPHI, his name was David. So one evening like that, David started posting a lot of suicide quotes on his status. So everybody was actually scared to know what was going on that period. So I actually called on David to check up on him because he was, he was my colleague in the office. Then it was actually because of his porn videos that JP Crime Fighter was actually posting there. So my attention was drawn to it. He showed me that he told him that JP Crime Fighter told him that he should pay the sum of 20,000 naira. If he doesn't pay the sum of 20,000, he won't put down the videos. So I now chatted JP Crime Fighter on Twitter. I was like, JP, stop. Then at a point, I tried to find that you should pay that uh, that twenty thousand naira. I not told him. I thought you are fighting for the community. If you are fighting for the community, there shouldn't be black men people that you are fighting for in the community. That was what I told him. At that moment, we had that discussion. He now told me that I should be careful. That I don't know who he is. He said try to throw threats on me. They asked me now. I not tell him. Okay, no problem. What if I post this chat? Like I screenshot this chat now and post on my status. That was where the conversation ended. Yeah, literally that night I went to bed. Early, in the, early late night, that early late night that particular day, then my manager in the office called me. I was like, Franklin, is everything okay? Are you okay? What's going on? Then at a point I was like, nothing. Say what happened? Then I told him what happened. I said nothing because I don't know what happened. They say what happened to you? Know, you are supposed to ask it to. I said you are supposed to me ask it to. There's something that at that moment, literally, I smile. I went on to online that period. Meter all my data, put your screenshot things and put it, send it to me like my DM full everywhere. Ah, Frankie, what happened? Frankie, what happened? I also laugh. <coughs> then I tried to make posts about it on my social media pages, trying to write it and explain it to people. Like everybody coming to my DM, I tried to explain to them. There's a point, there's something that. In front of my draw my attention that this guy is sticking for attention, I should just ignore him. Then my followers on Twitter was actually bigger than his followers on Twitter. That was because we should then. How many, followers, not... how many followers did you have on Twitter? Then I have to think okay, followers. 
And how many did JP Crime Fighter he has have? Okay, JP Crime has about six K followers. Then I have fifteen K. That was I was even half ahead of him. That was when we started this fight. Then on Twitter, on a long run, me trying to defend myself. Every I, I saw that kind of comment, I will post mm -hmm. all those kind of stuff. So one of, one of my uh, friends had drawn my attention that I should ignore this guy. That who knows me already. That it would be hard for somebody to believe this kind of story. They put that every post that I made an explanation of that thing. Yeah, I put that all the posts. Then what I was not putting like the finance that picture to post. I put the address. I don't forget to me now. I was like yeah, anybody so that when, said it. When you, when you snap a picture, you put the address of where you are, right? Anybody that said I'm a keto, I don't forget to me now. Let the person bring the person that have keto to my office. Imagine a keto that is working with an NGO, then community NGO. Is it, where is it making sense? Is it making sense at all? So at that moment, that, that was victory. If I want to go to parties, then just I mean, I'll be like, I'll be on party this weekend at the Lusa Hotel because that was where we were doing parties that year in Puerto Rico. And I must surely turn up, if not for anything, because of that scandal. So that was how I was actually keeping up then. Around February, the upper year, I went to a, I met one dude called. If I oh, let let us let us let us backtrack. What about David, your friend? What did JP Crime Fighter post about David? Just his He's, part, right? Yes. Did David actually commit suicide or is David still alive? Sorry? Did, did David commit suicide or is David still alive? He's still alive, but that was actually advices. Just I mean, because the thing was actually everywhere. Imagine JP Crime Fighter posting. So, like, promoting it, and this guy was actually begging to take it down. Mm. Even if he, yeah, okay, mistake the video leak, was he supposed to promote such video? Was David a porn star, or is David a porn star rather? You know, uh, we are all in this together. My child, yes, I mean, I personally actually, actually request for this. But due to what you have, in, like, due to what is involved, I don't know if just want to do this follow up to Tyson. It doesn't mean the person that the person is a. So David yes, is not a porn star, but he sells his sex tape. I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know if you can see that. But at this moment, there's something that maybe he did it for personal consumption and the or sex private tape use. Got you. Or for private use. I don't know. Whichever way he knows. So now let's go forward. You said. You then met Ifai. Who is Ifai? I went to Abuja that year, so I posted I was in Abuja. Then I started to meet friends. Just now, luckily, I met my fellow Kito. <laughs> <laughs> so, Richard, when I say I met my fellow Kito, I met this guy. His name was Ifai. Valentine, easy. Famous fly in Abuja there. Then, along the line, I heard his own part of story. Just now, I literally believed what he told me. Because what did he tell I you? How, like he tried to tell me that he's not keto and all those kind of stuff. What did JP Crime Fighter write about him? I, I was asking him how this thing happened. He said that he doesn't know what he did to JP Crime Fighter and all the rest. Yes, I mean, so mm -hmm. whatever he finally told me at first, I actually believed him. I don't forget him now because mm -hmm. now I, I look at myself, him calling me keto. I don't forget him now just because I was trying to defend David. And just because I made a threat to him that I'll post this our chat <laughs> online. <laughs> I don't forget me now. That was how I came my own kid too. Got you. So now I now I now believe that whatever Ifani was telling me, whatever any other person in this world is telling me is true. See, uh, you know this JP Cry Fighter uh, before before this incident happened, eh? Uh, I worship that guy like a god, like when I military like a god, uh, like. I believe everything he puts on his social media his pages. I see him like this to be God. Like, I saw that, like, kind of he protests people and he cure people. I seem like he, God, like, God of the community. That was that kind of, that was how, like, how I see him. But when he said, when I saw that kind of thing, eh, everything that great, like, just, ah. Mm. So that if I need issue now, when I met if I along in Abuja that year, that was it. So whatever if I told me, just I mean I actually believed it, that it, 
period. Then can I you remember went to what, Ogun. Can you remember exactly what Ifain said? Sorry? Can you remember exactly what Ifain said? I can't actually remember the story because I wasn't interested. Was what I know that like he said that he, it was not true, which I believed. Okay. Go on. So at that moment, I snapped a picture in front of the hotel Puja. I don't forget to me now. He now reposted a picture that he doesn't know who went to Kito in this place, that he knows our location and this what, thing. What, what, what hotel did you snap the picture? Sorry? What is the name of the hotel you snapped the picture? Kubana Grand View Hotel at Jabi Abuja. Okay. Go on. So, uh, actually, if I don't want him to know my location, I won't snap picture in front of you. I write the hotel name. I don't know if you get to me now. So, him saying that he's monitoring me, all those kind of stuff, was actually literally lies. I made you to know where I am. That was one. Then, if I came to Imo State, I had to invite him to Imo State. No, he came to Imo State. I had to invite him to where I was in a way. Then, we met at the Jitawa Hotel. Then he wanted to go and beat after Jimmy. Do you understand me? Yeah. Then I was lying there. I, said, I told him to help me massage my back. When he was massaging my back at that moment, he was actually helping me to massage my back. Then I had to snap the picture. You see, he now posted the picture that he has our porn video. Let me ask you a very dumb question Are you a porn star? <laughs> Did you hear me? Are you, are you are you a porn star? Uh, actually, that question now. I would like to keep that private. Okay, let's keep that question. So go on. If I you said you asked if I to come to where you are, here yeah, you asked him to massage your back. You were you, were you just asking him to massage your back, or did you intentionally wanted to have an intimate moment with if I? See, you, no, no, see, eh, at that moment, eh, she like I just wanted to, if I had to massage my back, then me snapping that video, me making that video, eh, where he has not posted, the, he didn't actually post the video on Facebook. What he did was he captured, like, he grabbed the screenshot of the, the first screenshot. Can you, can you, can you describe that picture here too? Because I haven't seen that picture and you still have a copy of that. That was a video. I don't know if you I was like, this is the full video, eh, he's tied yes. doorway and I'm wearing shorts. So that was actually then. He now said he so, has a sex video. JP Crime Fighter. I, I, I helped him post the sex video. Wait, JP Crime Fighter screenshotted the picture. You then, on your own, sent the whole video to JP Crime Fighter, right? I now posted it. I posted the whole video. You now posted the whole video. Got you. Go on. That was how the first issue happened. Man, uh, I know ageless for years, but we are not that kind of uh, close friends. Then he was actually dragging. Uh, uh, ageless, yes, I mean, but well, there's this guy eh, that I was actually crushing on then. May you so continue to rest, rest in perfect peace, hilarious somewhere. Gotcha. You know, each time I see this guy, each time I see this guy picture online, the other time I'll be like, wow, wow, wow. And actually, we are vibing very, very well then online, but due to distance, all of a sudden, we have to say, as a kid too. I just thought they somewhere after what was going on. Just I mean, uh, at this moment, uh, I was that confused. Do you understand me now? I was actually mm -hmm. confused. Now, he now started to tell me, say, that does he look like, like, after having that conversation with him, I don't think it's like, I still believe whatever he like somewhere told me because why? Eh, of God, my own experience. Wait, now, at that point, later. yes, at that moment now, Okay, that picture that, that particular picture that me and if I snapped that period, the picture was actually going viral online. Then along the line, uh, somebody that posted if I say Frankie, what on my conversation of me posting that is not Frankie, is it not this boy that uh, JP Kai father posted as Kito? I did not drag the person, I asked him, Do you know anybody he has kito? Which is Hilary, right? He, yes, I was like, Do you know anybody he has kito? I don't know if it's me uh, if you know anybody he has kito. Let the person come to the comment section and indicate or gem me the person's ID. I will have some questions to ask this person. That was what I, I like. I did kind of comments I made at the comment section. Then the person now has to go and tap, tap, uh, oh yes. 
Mm. I just what I mean. The person I have yeah. to tag Oya in the comment section. Oya gonna slide into my DM. Then when Oya snuck off, slide into my DM. Then he asked me. I said, I just ask a question. Yeah. See, I just want to confirm. Mm. He now said that I might trying to call him a liar. I said no, I didn't say so, but I just want to confirm. I, yes, I worship like God before, like I see like this kind of, but not again. So now I need to confirm your your like your stories. Mm. 